Hi, I'm Mark Trexler with The Climatographers. In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to Nathaniel Rich's new book, Losing Earth, A Recent History. Now, if I open up this screen uh, to full size, you can basically see that what this book is, is a chronology of developments between you know, the late 50s and 60s into the late 80s. Now, for me, this is a very interesting book because I got involved with climate change in the 1988-1989 timeframe and didn't actually know all of the things that had come before. And the book is, is particularly interesting to me because it follows a particular uh, person, Rafe Pomerantz, who was at the time at the Friends of the Earth, and then he joined the World Resources Institute and we worked together there. It sort of uses him to write this very interesting story of how the climate change issue progressed over a 20 year period. And as you can just see, if you, if you take a look at some of these things on your screen, or if you go into the climate web to look at them, there's just a lot of very interesting stuff in here and, and things like uh, Exxon, you know, accepting the climate science in the late 1970s, uh, although that got reversed in the late 1980s. But Exxon was funding some of James Hansen's work uh, early on in the climate change uh, discussion. You know, the first congressional hearing on carbon dioxide buildup in 1980. Lots of scientific studies starting in 1957. Uh, and so it, it is a very interesting chronology. I would certainly uh, advocate that you read the book if you're interested in the topic of climate change. Let me also point you to a couple of other things you can find here. Uh, first of all, let me zip back to the, the other, uh, other view of this. Um, this book follows up on a long uh, piece in the New York Times Magazine from last uh, August. Uh, that you can also take a look at if you don't want to read the entire uh, book. And at the time, the, it actually got a reasonable amount of uh, criticism. I'm not going to go into detail, but some people perceived the book as sort of letting the fossil fuel interest off the hook and, and sort of blaming everybody else. I'm not sure I would take away that message, certainly not from, uh, from the book, but, but it's just worth pointing out and, and we link these things uh, uh, for you here in the climate web so you can dig uh, more deeply into them if you want. They also put together around that a climate change curriculum uh, with, at the Pulitzer Center that you can actually go and, and find resources specific to sort of the material covered uh, in Losing Earth, and that is certainly uh, worthwhile. And so there's a bunch of good stuff here in addition to the, the extracted dates that we've seen. You know, this book joins a long list of books that I that we characterize as sort of team urgency books using the, the chess um, context of, of two chess teams, one being team urgency and one being team non-urgency. And we cover that extensively in, uh, in the climate web. The only other book that we have of Nathaniel Rich's in the climate web is also one that I would recommend. Uh, but it is a base, it's part of the cli fi genre, the climate fiction genre, Odds Against uh, Tomorrow. And, you know, it, it joins, it is part of a very large uh, and rapidly growing genre of cli fi climate fiction uh, sources. But that book, too, by Nathaniel Rich is uh, definitely worth your ex exploration. To learn more about any of this, uh, visit www.theclimateweb.com. Thanks.